Hello students. Today we are going to start let, uh, letter writing, which is a part of English writing skills. In our syllabus, we have the formal and business letters. Today we are going to get introduced with these types of letters. Now, whenever you did letters, you did official letters and non-official letters. When you were in class seven, when you were in class eight. There were a type of letter which were written to the principals, and uh, those letters you have to maintain a proper format. Similarly, we used to have some letters that are written to the editors, and there in the letters of editor you have to write the letter to the editor of some uh, newspaper, editor of some magazine, or there were some letters which were written to especially some policeman uh, to some municipal commissioner about complaining about something now the letters that were written to the principals basically those types of letters mostly focused on one thing that is taking a tc taking a leaf or informing about some event that you want your principal's opinion similarly in case of the municipal commissioner letter what you used to do is you used to write some problems and you expected the remedies similarly to the write letters to the editor of the newspapers a specific problem or specific opinion of your is expressed and what you used to do you used to tell them that this is the problem so you better uh, print this in the newspaper and all of these letters have to maintain a proper format in class 9 when you did with the informal letters you realize that informal letters actually do not have such quote unquote specified format but in formal letters or in official letters that you did that letter had some a specific format now here we are going to do two types of letters first is the formal letter and the second one is the business letters so let's see let's get started with the letter writing first let us know what a letter is a letter writing is a form of written communication Letters are of two types, formal and informal. Formal letters include business letters, letters of complaint, letter of complaints, letters to the government officials, etc. Informal letters include to friends, relatives and acquaintances. So in class 9 you already did the informal letters, now in class 10 you will be doing the formal letters. So letters of complaints, letter to government officials, business letters, these types of letters are the formal letters. So the formal or official letters, they are written to the editors of the newspaper, heads of different departments or directors and principals or managers. And now in class, in the previous classes, in class 8, in class 7, in class 6, you already did this type of letters. And when you did this type of letters, what were the subject matter of it? The subject matter is the, regarding some complaints. So if you want to lodge some complaint, you will say that when you have to give some reaction or a response to certain events, speeches, placing new orders, order for new items, for these type of things, you would used to write these letters. So in here in class 10 also, you letter will be focused on these issues especially, especially mainly complaints. Secondly, about your reaction, about your response to certain event, about some speeches, about placing a new order for new items. So these type of letters will involve involved in this class 10. And the language is very formal language. You cannot use some personal language. You cannot ask something personally. You have to be formal. You have to say to the point. You have to say what you want to say. Because if you don't do this, then the person will not read the letter. And you have to be positive in your tone, you have to be assertive, you need to say what you want to say. <coughs> so what is the general format of a letter? So first is sender's address to be written, the self address, then the receiver's address needed to be written, 
then the date needs to be given then the salutation needs to be given like sir or madam or dear sir or dear madam as, as it goes and then the subject comes which is regarding of something now whenever you do the sample letter suppose this is a sample letter so here you are writing the sender's address date okay the receiver's address then the subject then the salutation you are starting with similarly you have to write the letter in this type now what is what you will write in the letter how to write the content content here means what you are going to say what you are going to propose so in the introduction part you will refer to the previous communication or source of news or information how do why are you writing this what you want to do in a very brief way in a very short pattern you will write this one then the present status you will mention or the position or the issue that you are facing then your analysis then your reason for your analysis and then if there is some suggestion or if there is some action that is required so in the content portion you will mention this means or in other word in the introduction and the body part which is the main part of the letter you will give the introduction which will refer to the previous communication or source of news about information your status your analysis in the body and your suggestion or action required so this is this comes your body now whenever you did previously the formal letters in classes what you used to do you used to maintain a proper format you used to maintain the format of an introduction body and a conclusion same same thing you have to do here now the conclusion in the closing part you will write thanks so you are sincerely or truly and then the signature comes so this is the closing of the letter so in the content the introduction is the referring to the previous communication or source or the news or information then your present position or status then the analysis and the reasons and then if your suggestion is required that is in the conclusion paragraph so this points the content of the paragraph now after writing the letter since this is a formal letter so you have to maintain the thanks giving session then you have to uh, thanks uh, giving paragraph then you have to mention the yours sincerely or yours truly then your signature should be there and your name or rank if it is any so this is this is the letter this is how the letter should be written now in class 10 you will be acquainted with the various types of letters actually and how to write them how to face these letters what to write in them so generally there are some tips there are some suggestions through which you should write a letter so some useful language or expressions should be given like we are interested in and would you like to suppose you are asking about some product suppose you are asking about some product so this is your inquiry letter so that's why you will express your interest in that then you would like to then would you please tell me or send me the information so you are asking about things and you have to be very polite you have to be very formal you have to introduce yourself and you have to mention your requirements you have to be very polite in your language you have to introduce yourself who you are or else the letter doesn't stand you have to mention your requirements you have to ask for detailed information about the product or discount or and terms and conditions so you have to ask these things so these are the basic tips of writing an letter of inquiry now when you are going to write a letter of complaint suppose you have a complaint about any product nowadays we do a lot of online shopping isn't it nowadays we do a lot of online shopping and uh, suppose one of the products suppose you uh, bought a pencil box and when you bought a pencil box from the online company uh, or from any company you notice that the pencil box is already damaged so you need to complain and when you need to complain you do need to replace this right so they need to replace this letter 
this pencil box so how will you write what are the writing how you, how you should now when you, when we you write the complaint letters the most problematic thing is that most of the time people abuse a lot you cannot abuse anyone in a complaint letter the product might be defective so you can request to change the product but you cannot use any abusive languages there you cannot produce, uh, express your harsh opinion there so how you should write this let's see so you should write like this some useful language or expression for complaint writing letter format is we regret to remind you that see the politeness of the language we regret to remind you that i am writing to complain about we are sorry to inform you that this is the way of the writing and you have to be very polite and you have to be formal you have to be polite you cannot use harsh opinions and then you have to introduce yourself and describe clearly what your complaint is why are you writing this letter what your opinion is what your complaint is and remember that newspaper is only a medium to address the issue if you are writing a complaint letter to the newspaper always remember this thing that they are a way to address the issue they are not a solution so never say kindly suppose you are complaining about the damage of the street light in your locality so you cannot write this to the editor of a newspaper that kindly do me one thing you change the light with your own money definitely they are not going to do that so remember that the newspaper is only a medium to address the issue so do not ask the editor to resolve the issue you should not ask this you cannot ask this editor to resolve the issue now when we are writing the letter to the editor there are some languages there are some specific terms to which we should to which we should actually start like through the esteemed columns of your newspaper i wish to bring the notice of the concerned authority so this is your way of writing through the esteemed columns of your newspaper i wish to bring to the notice of the concerned authorities second is in my opinion you want to say something in my opinion this is a very a shocking dis- disturbing then you continue the letter use of like this so mind the way of writing this is the style you should use so which the letter will become look better this is class 10 and you have to advance in your way of writing describe your opinion clearly say what you would like to receive or to do with the complaint like replacement refund of money free service what you want you say that second is mention your next course of action if the complaint remains unattended so what is your next course of action what you want to ex- do what do you want to do with this so if the complaint remain at unattended you should say these things now let's come to these are the format of the formal letter now these are the business letters now what is a business letter is it the formal letter or is it basically something different let's see So business letters are an essential requirement in today's business world where the transactions are going on constantly each and every time business letters are a type of formal letter sent from one company to another or between such organizations and their customers clients or the other external parties you want to order some desk and bench for your school this is a business letter you should ask for A business letter is a permanent written record and may be taken more seriously by the recipient than other forms of communication so this letter holds a great value So business letter are a type of formal letter Business letter are a type of formal letter So we are asking whether it is a formal letter or is it different from that so we should say that business letters are a type of formal letter 
A formal letter is a letter which is written for an official purpose using such designated format and language. So business letters are also same. So what is a business letter? So a business letter is written to a business form or a particular person. So business letters can be written for a variety of purposes. Some of the reasons for writing business letter include making an inquiry, replying to an inquiry, making a complaint related to a product or service, placing or cancelling orders, getting information regarding order place, etc. So you should write business letters for this purpose only. So if you have to make an inquiry, you should write, you have to reply to an inquiry, you should write. If you have to make a complaint about something or product or service about anything, you should write. You should place for placing an order, you should write for cancelling an order. You should get the information regarding the order place and these types of letters should be kept by the company. So keep this in mind, keep the following points in your mind while writing the business letters because these letters will be written and these letters needed to be written very very seriously. So the first the sender's address is written usually in three four lines. Then the subject of the letter should be always underlined. Then the salutations like dear sir or madam or respected sir or madam should be used. Then the introductory paragraph or the body should be highlighted, the purpose of the letter. Then the main paragraph or the body should contain the details of the letter. So introductory paragraph will highlight the purpose of the letter and the main paragraph, the body should contain the details of the letter. And the concluding paragraph as it goes should be in a conclusion of the first two paragraphs. And then you should write your studio faithfully and should be used as a complimentary close. So what are some useful tips for writing a business letter? So business letter should be to the point clear and precise because the person to whom you are writing might not have much time to read each and everything. Simple language should be used. Don't expect that everybody is a very very good master in English so they are very means fluent in that. Simple language should be used. Abbreviations and short forms must be avoided because that means different sometimes. So short forms and abbreviations should be avoided or must be avoided. When placing orders and descriptions of items should be clearly mentioned. So what do you want? You should clearly mention that. So sender should inform about the desirable mode of payment or transportation etc. So this you can uh, mention that and appropriate language should be used. This is very important. So with this we came to know how to write a letter and what types of letters are there and how should we write. Now the sample letters will actually give you a further more detailed idea about the pro proper way of writing a letter. So we will come to this one by one. So example, suppose in exam, so this sample letter is just an example how letters can be written. Don't take it for granted that these are only the letters which will come in exam, never ever expect that. So write a letter to the editor of an English daily making a plea to the common people to switch over to solar energy to conserve electricity and limit electricity bills. Like 147 MG road by your behind New Delhi 100101, date is 11 April 2021. And you are writing the letter to the editor of Hindustan Times, New Delhi, 100101. Sender's address, date, receiver's address. Editor of an English daily, I am writing the editor, Hindustan Times, New Delhi, I am giving the pin code. Each and everywhere I am giving the pin code. Why? Because if I don't give the pin code, then the letter cannot be sent. And the date should be written exactly in this way, 11 April 2021. So notice these things a lot. Notice these things. Subject. I am writing subject in the middle. See how I am writing. Evoking awareness towards solar energy. What is my topic? To switch over to solar energy to conserve electricity and limit electricity. But I am not writing each and everything that is written in the question paper. Many of you will try this. No, I am using the language. Evoking awareness towards solar energy. And this is the subject. This is should be written. Then, see how I am starting. Sir or madam if you know them through the columns of your reputed newspaper see through the columns means it's a part of a newspaper is a column through the columns of your reputed newspaper i wish to make the people aware of the growing need 
and demands of solar power so you want to make aware people of the growing need and demands of the solar power we all know our earth is showing signs of a patient in declining health and it will be to excessive pollution in our planet so this is your introduction and why you should use solar energy man has a desire to live luxurious life and for that he comes over consuming electricity he doesn't realize that over use with exhaust the treasure we must conserve electricity which is the the need of the hour but this conservation can only be done if we start using solar power system various kinds of solar systems like solar cooker solar lanterns or uh, solar lanterns solar heating and cooking systems solar water heater etc are available in the market see these solar system are non polluting they are economical and can are available in different sizes so you can buy them you should use them so instead of you wasting electricity we should use them so i request you to publish this letter in your newspaper to make people aware of the need of conserving electricity and limiting electricity bills public must pay attention to the dire need of switching over to solar energy so you should pay attention to the need of solar solar energy thank you 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 sincerely devyans so this is how the letter should be written next is the mention is already there see this is a business letter so that one is an official letter a for a formal letter and this is a business letter you are shakshi or saksham hostel warden radha krishna public school vrindavan uttar pradesh okay so write a letter to the sales manager bharat electronics and domestic appliances limited new delhi placing an order for a fans microwaves ovens giver that you wish to purchase for the hostel also ask for discount permission on the purchase so whom from whom you are writing from radha krishna public school vrindavan uttar pradesh then address is it pin code is given then the date is written 18 may 2020 whom you are writing the sales manager of what company bharat electronics and domestic appliances limited New Delhi one one zero zero two three. Now this is the page break is there, so it it might seem like this, but it is actually just after this line. Okay, okay. So you are starting the letter, dear sir. So what is the subject of it? It is subject is placement of orders for electronics. And what you are writing? So what you are placing the order? You should mention that clearly. You should be clear in your letter now. So now see how the letter should be written. We are happy to place the order of the following items. Kindly send the following items at the above to the above address. Means Radha Krishna Public School. Okay. So this address. So transport carefully. What are the items? Fans. How many items are there? Fifty. Brand is Bajaj. Microwaves. How many items? Twenty-five. Brand is LG. Ovens. How many items? Thirty. Brand is Philips. Geysers. How many items? Twenty-five. Brand is Nova. Basically, what we did is we made a chart here in order to place the orders, and this is how you should do. Now you are expecting that all the items should be in good condition, well bound, and packed properly. The items must be delivered by the end of the month of the issue of this letter. When you are expecting, the time is also mentioned. Any damage during the transportation would be your responsibility because the company does not take this responsibility sometimes. As in the past, also we have never been given any opportunity to complain, and the goods have always reached as well on time. <coughs> so since previously we used to give orders to your company, and since the goods have always reached well on time. and in excellent conditions as per our specification <coughs> so we do expect the same delivery at this time as well so kindly offer us a suitable discount as has been the practice all these years so basically by this words the company will be convinced that well let's give the best products so you are faithfully faction of postal warden
Now this is a similar type of letter like you have bought a mobile phone from a reputable showroom in Mumbai but after a month you develop a serious fault which happens sometimes we buy the mobile phone and this becomes a problem write a letter, complaint letter, so this is a complaint letter I am mentioning write a complaint letter to the manager of for immediate repair or replacement of the same year Sabhi called as you of 123 TT Nagar Bhopal So 123 TT Nagar Bhopal you are writing, 30th September 2020 you are writing to the manager you are writing, Shiv Raman Sons, Mumbai So you are starting, dear sir So what is your subject? Complaint against a defective mobile phone This is your subject So what is your complaint? Let's see I bought an LG Nexus 5 from your showroom by receipt number 123 dated 15 September 2020 Everything you are mentioning here The details of the bill And the brand The phone has a warranty of 3 years And by the guarantee number is 123 and valid up to 30th August 2022 2 years warranty is there And I regret to inform you that the phone has developed a technical snag and stopped working just a few days after this purchase it had started giving me trouble off but I will it uh, off and on so the problem is to switch off and switch on but I related to the connectivity issue of some minor fault that I thought would settle with time so since it is still in warranty period so you are expecting so you are requested to replace it immediately needless to say that mobile phones are not a luxury but a necessity these days so nowadays this is your necessity as you can realize as an early and appropriate action will be highly appreciated so if you take an immediate action with this letter it will be highly appreciated now this letter along with the phone will probably will definitely will produce an impact and the company will have a proof that yes you have have this problem so that the company or the shopkeeper can send this to LG company and see this is the complaint of a customer so you are faithfully you are mentioning your name Razia So similarly another type of uh, letter is also there Like uh, the unsanitary conditions in your colony are causing multiple diseases Write a letter to the municipal commissioner bringing the problem to his notice and request him to take urgent action in this matter So you have Deepak or Deepak of C2 by 8 Ankur Enclave New Delhi So I am mentioning the address C2 by 8 Ankur Enclave New Delhi I am mentioning the pin code 110011 you have to mention that date is 20 August 2020 whom you are writing to the municipal commissioner you are writing Sharda Delhi 110012 so dear sir subject is insanitary conditions in the colony so I have been a resident of Ankur Enclave for the past 11 years I would like to bring to you notice the insanitary conditions in our colony rubbish and garbage lying hips Lack of drainage system raises a persistent flower smell in the area. So this is my problem. You should address that. And during the rainy season, water stagnates in print on the streets which makes the whole condition even worse. These become the breeding ground for mosquitoes and other insects which expose the residents to multiple diseases like dengue, malaria. And our colony has become an unhealthy and disease prone area. Every day someone or the other is succumbing to daily disease So this is a conclusion or the problem that you are mentioning Some of the families have also shifted block, stock and barrel to the better locality Means they have shifted, taken all their belongings and went to some other locality So you are requested to take an immediate remedial action to set things right So thanking you, you are faithfully Deepa So this is how you should start, you should include in the body and this is what you should uh, write in the conclusion You are faithfully Deepa So this is how the letter should be written And this is how you should practice this type of letter Basically this is the format of a formal letter which you need to learn And this is why we have uh, started with this letter writing Practice letter writing on your own Read the notes that have been given in the Google Classroom This note is already there in the Google Classroom So read from there And then I hope you will be able to Solve Formal letters on your own And this is entirely your own practice Ok students, ok Thank you, let's end the class now Thank you students